Investigation. This is season one, episode five. I'm your host, Aisha Jordan. And I'm your host, Jatabriel Elliott. We've been rocking it out on the show, having a great time, going to comedy shows such as Mike Miller. We've also had some serious moments as well. We give you a brief history on Lake Lanier and talk with Tara Hall and April V about domestic violence. Domestic violence is definitely an emotional, mental, and physical roller coaster. There's a lot of people that are going through it and are very silent about it. But you definitely want to pay attention to your friends for signs and things of that nature to see if they're going through domestic violence and see if you can help them out. Let's talk COVID-19. This pandemic has taken so many lives and people are still dying. Make sure you take the proper precautions, wash your hands, stay six feet apart, wear your mask in public, and please sanitize everything. With the new strand and increasing numbers, we need to take extra precautions when we're going outside. Be mindful of when you're placing your hands after you've touched the object. Make sure you're not touching your eyes and your face when you're walking into buildings and doors and things of that nature. So let's head on to commercial so that we can get you through. Get the Man, I need a proper team, man. I need a proper team. No. See you throw your life away in the streets, man. Welcome back to Stephen Navigation. I am your host, Jatabriel Elliott. And I am your host, Aisha Jordan. On today's segment, we'll be talking about filming. We define filming as the act of making a film and film production, which includes acting, directing, producing, and camera shots. Examples of that would be documentaries, live TV, animation, and web series such as this show, Circle Navigation. We had the opportunity to go behind the scenes of the production of the new film, Bandit, starring Bruce Willis. Now let's go behind the scenes and take a look. from commercial break this is circle navigation season one episode five i am your host aisha jordan now that we're back from behind the scenes of the new movie bandit starring bruce willis and mel gibson let's jump into health and wellness with zach brown Big, baby. It's all about getting big, you know. You in the gym, don't play around. Take it serious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Circle Navigation. I'm April V. How you doing? Today we're talking about health and wellness, and we had the opportunity to meet with Zach Brown at Destiny Fitness. We just left from there, and man, was he doing a workout. That one is a little rigorous for me. If you're anything like me, a light walk or a job would do just fine. Yes, he, he made it look very easy, and so you don't have to go buy the books and have that exact workout. Right. Any kind of cardio, walking, any kind of exercise is good for the body. Right, and let's not forget, you must eat, eat healthy yes. and just be the best you that you can be. As long as you stay active, motivated, you will eventually get to where you can do a workout like Zach did yesterday at Destiny Fitness. Right. And that concludes the health and wellness segment of the day with Zach Brown. And now it's time for our trivia question of the day. So, on May 23rd, 1918, the lynch mob took an African-American male named James Cobb from which Southwest Georgia County Jail for the alleged slaying of a Caucasian farmer's wife? Is it gonna be A, Tifton, B, Valdosta, C, Albany, or D, Cordia? Before we give you the answer, first, we need to hear from our sponsors. <laughs> And let's not forget to give a special thanks out to Aaron Thompson and Jason Oliver with Coca-Cola Bottling Company United of Tifton for their in-kind donation and the banner for the community outreach program, Back to School, Stock the Staff. With the uprising number in COVID cases within our community, many families were displaced and also experiencing financial hardships. Our youth is our future, and without these needed supplies, it would be inevitable for their future. It wouldn't be possible without our sponsors, so thank you again for all the support, for we are all in this together. Welcome back to Circle Navigation. Before the break, we left you with a trivia question, Isha. And that question is, on May 23rd, 1918, the lynch mob took an African-American male by the name of James Cobb from which Southwest County Jail for the alleged slang of a Caucasian farmer's wife? Is it A, Tifton, B, Valdosta? Is it C, Albany, or D, Cordell? If you guess D, Cordell, you're absolutely correct. When somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. And they own all the big media, media news, all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. You know something? They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table to figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. Good, honest, hardworking people. White collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on. Good. Communications is the transmission of information by various type of technologies over wire, radio, optical, or other electromagnetic systems. To help us with this topic, we have the legendary DJ Dwayne. Hey, it's your man Cosmo Barnum, aka DJ Dwayne, and welcome to Circle Navigation. <laughs> So I started off in radio um, back in the early 
2000 at um, a local radio station called Hot 106 FM. I think it might have been like 60,000 watts at the time, but honestly, uh, in the numbers, uh, we beat WJIZ, which was the um, powerhouse at the time with 100,000 watts. So it was a different type of hunger, honestly, though, because, um, you know, coming from an area where it's, it's, it's poverty everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, even the middle class is still struggling, trying to, you know, make ends meet, and for uh, young people to, uh, see another avenue other than football or college uh, to be able to make money and feed their families. You know, you had a lot of people that had talent and didn't know what to do with it, started to hit the studios, make songs, and then, you know, of course, once you do that, back then we had the internet or like um, YouTube music or anything, it was just straight up. If it wasn't on the radio or if it wasn't in the clubs, then, you know, MTV was a, a shot in the dark. That was never gonna happen just because in order to move to those types of um, uh, uh, media outlets, you had to either have some type of uh, backing from some type of major machine or have some uh, generational wealth to cover the expense. This is Cosmic Barnum, AKA DJ Dwayne. You watch the second episode.